you're a whole ass nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all know this. You have no you have nothing to prove here. We know that you're a whole ass nigga. Folks are still fuck with your music. Have a 24 hour like fucking police escort. When you're around this bitch, like the fuck is wrong with you, my nigga? Like you think that this whole fuck with you? How do you think this whole fuck with you, my nigga? Like you know, like you was down and fucked up. You know that this whole don't fuck with you. You know the people around you don't fuck with you. But you go around them with, with everything on like it's just all love. No fire on you. And let me talk to you. Chopa, 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 chopa. I do not play with the bullshit. I'm about to lay in the bullshit. I got the K in the bullshit. We about to take on me pussy. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is... What the fuck is that? Are you fucking serious? As in, Rich, are you fucking serious, my nigga? I'm thinking that... I'm thinking you was at your house or whatever like that. Like... So you went to a bitch house, and it was her and her sister there. It's her and her sister there. Her little sister is your assistant. You talking to this bitch that used to be young M.A. old lady. You fall asleep, and at 5 o'clock in the morning, niggas kick the door, rob you, and beat you the fuck up. Now you in the hospital, and the bitch... The bitch's house. This is her house. The bitch that you went over there. The bitch's house that you was at. That bitch is in the hospital with you right now. Look, I know you're enjoying your video, but give me one second. When you go to the PayPal to donate, all my AO Nation members, do not go to paying for items and services. It holds the money and it's charging you. If you have done that, if you've donated and you've hit paying for item and services, you need to go back and release those funds. I have not gotten them. Uh, even if you're buying a shirt, do not hit paying for an item of service. It's charging you. Go to send money to a friend. There's two options. And hit the send money to a friend so that it comes straight to me and we don't have to release them because they're asking for a tracking number, which obviously I don't have if you're giving a donation. Even with the shirts, I'm not going to have that tracking number. If you want the shirts, just put $25 in the PayPal and then go to the messenger and give me your address and in three or five business days, you will have the All You See Your Church. Uh, all my local artists and advertisers, you need to have a $100 budget if you want to do business. Also, you need to be ready to promote. Do not hit me until you're ready to promote. Period, point blank. I don't want to talk about your idea, about your company, and no shit like that. I have too much going on. If you're an artist and you want feedback and advice on your song, you need to send a $35 deposit so I can listen to it and give you the feedback. I don't have time to do this shit for free. Okay? Um, what else? Uh, T-shirts, PayPal, advertising. That's it. Uh, this is Saki, and this is Aki. So if you hear me fussing them in the background, now you know what they look like. I'll see y'all in a minute. Enjoy the video. My nigga, you lame as fuck. Fuck that shit. You lame as fuck, nigga. Like, you lame as fuck. Like, a nigga knew you were lame because, like, the music you make and shit like that. But, dog, like, a nigga could have said you even more lame because how Uzi Vert just came and slapped you and shit like that. But, dog, it's nothing wrong with getting robbed as a street nigga. Niggas get robbed. You fought and shit like that. Them niggas ain't killed you. Like, they ain't kill you, so that lets you know it's an inside job. Like, but for you to be with the bitch that set you up to be robbed, it was either her or her sister. It don't matter, dog. Like, like you should be like, fuck them hoes. You so lame that you won't even tell that hoe to get the fuck away from you? 
because you don't want to lose a nigga? This hoe is taking up for her sister. You, her sister got you wrong. She's a gold digging bitch. Like, she, she, she's holding her hands up because she's not the one who did it. Her sister did it, but it's like, dog, you know that they did use that day fucking house. It's five o'clock in the morning. They pulled a Takashi 12 on you. Takashi 12 had somebody in front of O Block looking, waiting for the coast to be clear, nobody be outside. And as soon as it was clear, they said, all right, now, nah, do it now, do it now. He jumped out and did a quick 12 second walk and left. But they, you had to have somebody there to know that it was go time. This is what happened here. Five o'clock in the morning, they know you was dead sleep. They knew you were dead fucking sleep. They made the call. It's time. You know, you have to know this. Like, you're not that lame, dog. You're not that fucking lame to where you don't know this. So, the reason why you lame and, like, dog, you let this hoe come to the hospital? And you looking this hoe in the face knowing that she fucking lying? But you don't want to take that loss because you, you know you take a big loss when it's exposed that the bitch you with got you set up. You don't want to take that loss. You don't want to, well, at least my bitch ain't turned on me. Yes, she did, dog. You got to grasp, like you have to get a good grasp on what's going on. You talk to an Instagram, like this is an Instagram bitch, dog. She just, you could have picked any one of them. It's like you got a, you got a whole goddamn list of, you know what I'm saying, Instagram bitches. Pick, pick, like they, they all the same. All of them the same. Ass, titty, cute face. Ass, titty, cute face. Ass, titty, cute face. All of that can be fucking manufactured. All of it can be replicated. They've made it okay to get ass implants, titty implants, plastic surgery, makeup, weed. What's a bad bitch? What is a bad bitch? Black China, Nicki Minaj, Amber Rose. What's a bad bitch? Ass, titty, weed, makeup. That's it. You can get them in it. You can just like go on Instagram and these hoes is fucking struggling. Struggling. You could pick any one of them, but the whole thing is you know what they're about. Like you, she's an Instagram bitch. She lives for attention. You niggas is like, see this thing. See, let, let me get to you. And I keep touching my fucking face. I think them dogs got fleas, dog. And I feel that shit. What the fuck? But understand this. For example, the hoe that was just seen with Drake, with that big ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. listen, hoe, that ass that you got ain't attractive. It's not attractive. You, you, like you got a you got a Kate Michelle times two. You need to go ahead and get that shit cut off. Like that shit don't look good. That, that shit ain't live. And Drake, you you lame as fuck, dog. Being that, like, come on, fuck that shit. But you don't think that she wants to be looked at the same way Drake is looked at. These hoes want fame, and it fucks with them that they're not the one being followed by the pap paparazzi. See, they're used to thirsty niggas all day, all day, all day, all day. That's what they're used to. They don't have anything. They have no substance. They don't, they're not smart. They don't have anything to give. They don't have no talent. They don't have to work for attention. They just get the attention. Just off the way you look, you get attention. So then you can, they confuse that with them being talented or something. Them being having a good business plan or something like that. No, you don't. Niggas just like to look at you. That's it. So... When they're with their homegirls, they're the one that usually gets all the attention and shit like that. But now that you're with Drake or Rich the Kid, he's the one that gets all the attention. Please believe me. When you're dealing with a narcissist, when you're dealing with someone that is deals with that level of conceitedness, that jealousy, that shit is heavy because they don't feel it all the time. Usually, it's them. It's all day long, it's them. They go on their phone, a million goddamn inbox messages, dick pics, fucking everything. Niggas offering them everything and shit like that. They drop a picture, get a million likes and shit. Black China laid the fucking 
she like she should get credit like she laid the foundation she made the whole blueprint of what to do how to make it look like you are a boss bitch after you get your implants and your surgeries and shit like that go find a duck preferably a rapper because the rappers are the, uh, the, the easiest targets they're, they're, they're not smart you know what I'm saying? They lame. All of them was lame before they got famous. So now that they got money and fame, they don't know what to do with it. And they're not used to bad bitches. So go find them. Play up on them. Do some freaky shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Black China was able to escape that whole I can't give head shit because of the other shit she can do whatever like that. Like she wet. You know what I'm saying? And she grip. You know what I'm saying? And do something. She know how to pull that shit up out of you. And also, she knows... Like, she did her research on how to become more fertile. So, all you got to do is get a nigga not to wear a condom two times, and you in there. You in there. So, this bitch, Tori Bricks, knew that, all right, first of all, young M.A. fell off. So, I can't really win here. If young M.A. doesn't marry me, then she's not in any way legally obligated to make sure that I have money. These Instagram bitches want to be their own boss, but the only thing that they have to become their own bosses is their image and what they do in the bedroom. So, with the Black China Blueprint, you say, get you a child. How are you going to get a child, or how are you going to get young and made to be legally obligated to take care of you? Get her to marry you. Okay, she's not marrying me, and also her... Fucking, her buzz is going down. Like, you no know saying? She's falling the fuck off. All right, time to jump ship. So you jump ship to who? The lame rapper who just got on? Whatever like that. Ricky Kid been doing his thing, but now he just got a real big boot with that new freezer shit. And so that's when he drops his wife, which is another nothing-ass bitch. Only reason she mad is because, see, hoes hate it when you, you know what I'm saying, bump up. Like, she can't say shit about Tory Bricks, but some bullshit. Because what... The only thing that matters to these hoes is who's the baddest, who's finer. You know what I'm saying? So she got a hate on, uh, she just an Instagram bitch and shit like that. And Tori called his wife ugly, which she is. She's not attractive. But she was then. This whole trap to me in with two kids. I hate a bitch that say, uh, I, I got the kids, so you're going to have to deal with me forever. You got to deal with me forever. Like, why the fuck is his whole life your whole life? You see how these hoes don't have nothing going for themselves but the nigga? You don't have nothing going for yourself but the nigga. Back to the goddamn Black China Blueprint. All right, so you go to Rich the Kid. You get your sister to be his assistant so you can throw off all the bullshit, whatever like that. Um, he's giving you a little bit, little bit, but you want more. Um, but by, by the Black China Blueprint, you need to get pregnant. Where you got angry was, you cannot get him to take off the condom. You couldn't get him to slip. He was not slipping. You read, you read like, how do I get more fertile? What position? What time? Like, how, how long after the period? Should I do it on the period? What should I do? Because I'm trying to get fucking pregnant. And it's not working. And on top of that, he spoon feed me, like bird feed me this fucking money, like $100 here, $100, $400, a little gift and shit like that. But I want my own shit. Like the reason I came over here was to get my own shit. Like I can't swag like I want to swag. I can't move like I want to move because I can't lose you right now. Uh, because if you leave me now, I'm left with nothing and I'm back out here looking for somebody else. So I have to get paid off of you. And I have to get paid off of you before you fall the fuck off. You have to understand. After that Uzi Vert shit happened, she knew that she was on the clock. Because it's not going to be too much longer to nigga, you fucking ice cold. You don't got shit going on. So this whole had to make a fucking move. And this nigga got them steady fucking around with a wet condom and shit like that. And what's to say that that fucking night, that night was just like, fuck this shit, this nigga ain't finna come off of It was already in her head, like, how the fuck I'm gonna hit my next lick. Like, nigga, you got me out this whole asking for $100, $100, $300 and shit like that. Nigga, I want my own shit and I want it now. The whole got impatient. So she told her little sister to put that goddamn plan in motion. That was her backup plan. If all else fails, we'll just take this shit. Cause this nigga, this fucking retarded to walk around with this kind of money on him with no fucking security. My nigga, you should be moving like Takashi 12 when you're around these. I can't. 
When you around these Instagram bitches, my nigga, you should you should feel like you in a fucking lion's den. Like you around a, uh, the, the ravenous hyenas. These hoes thirst for attention and, and money is insatiable. Niggas, niggas, we, we setting goals and trying to achieve them. Uh, setting, setting places that we want to go in and trying to get there. These hoes are setting number amounts of how much they need. My nigga, understand this. A bitch can get mad when you don't give her something because of the fact that she's always calculating. Always calculating. Okay, my nigga, uh, you, I made you smile. Everything I do for you, my nigga, you know what I'm saying, there's a charge to it. You know I ain't got shit up. She, this is how she thinking. You see I ain't got no other source of income. I get bullshit ass uh, donations on cash out because I tell these folks that I'm a model. I go to the gym, make it look like I'm doing something, but I don't got shit going on. You can tell by the way the whole talk, she fucking retarded. She not smart. She sounds just like Cardi B. And I'm blowed off that shit like, hold on. Like you said your little sister 22 years old, so that means you at least 23. Why the fuck do you sound like a child when you talking? Do you hear this whole talk? She sound like a fucking child. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Dog, if you can be attracted to a bitch that talks and has the mental wherewithal of a 13-year-old, to me, in my mind, you are a fucking pedophile. If you would fuck with a hoe that has the the mental, the mental wherewithal, that has the mind of a fucking child, and you can have sex with her, My nigga, like, what's going on? Like, you, you know these hoes, these, like, these bitches is uh, 13, 14 years old looking like goddamn, you, you, like, motherfucker, we been saying goddamn, like, hoes be saying that shit, like, she ain't built like she, you know what I'm saying, 14 years old. So, these hoes got fake IDs. They built like this. And now you get these surgeries. They built like this, 14 years old, fake ID. A 14-year-old talks, just talks and sounds and acts like a 23-year-old. What's going to stop you from fucking this motherfucker, dog? If you can be attracted to a fucking 23-year-old that has the mind of a 14-year-old, I feel like you're a pedophile. You know when a bitch is retarded, dog. I'm blown about that shit. But let's get back to the thing. She's calculating every time she she feels like if she makes you smile, all right? Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five. Make you laugh or laugh or thirty-five dollars. Put that on in there. Missionary fucking. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. Head. Two racks. Two racks, yeah, two racks, yeah. Hit it from the back. 1800, 1800, yeah. That's better than that. Better. If she got a ride, how long you want me to ride? Cowgirl or reverse cowgirl? Reverse? Oh. Nine racks, nine racks. That's work, that's work there. Nine racks. Okay. So now she comes up to you, of course she's not gonna come out with the phone like, this is what you owe, this your, this, your, this your balance. She gonna be like, hey, Rich, no, uh, I was thinking about going to the Ferrari store, you wanna, wanna go ahead and get, I see a pink Ferrari, I wanted to get it, you ready to go ahead and get that for me? A nigga laugh. Oh, laugh? All right. $35. But no, I'm serious. They're serious. When are we going to get that Ferrari? And when you don't get it for, you have to understand that that could be the straw that breaks the camel back. And you have to be able to read that nonverbal communication. I told you 90% of communication is nonverbal. You have to be able to see when she's mad, if, if, even if she won't tell you, you got to see when she has resentment. And, and like you have to be able to see all this shit because then you can foresee and try to predict what her action is going to be. There's nothing wrong with speculation. What I'm doing right now is speculation. There's nothing wrong with it. If you see a bitch walk, if you see your bitch walk into a nigga house, uh, knock on a nigga door, and uh, the nigga come out with a shirt off, whatever like that, and basketball shorts and socks on, 
and she walk in, she in that two hours, she walk out with a health prison, and that nigga, you know what I'm saying, smack on the ass when she leave, you can confront that whole shit like you fucking niggas. You don't give a fuck that whole say. You speculate, that shit ain't, you can't speculate, you ain't see nothing. Bitch, like, I've been through enough to where I know what the fuck going on. This is what we're doing here. This is what we have to do. A motherfucker should not have to tell you word for word, detail for detail, what the fuck is going on. You have to be able to see that, you know what I'm saying, she's tired of asking. Look at look at the way she works on social media. Look at the shit she says. Look at what she's she, she's been doing. Her sister, what, what the fuck, my nigga? You don't think that her sister is capable of, of, of putting this shit together? Five o'clock in the morning, nobody else there? Now, what the fuck going on? Like, why are you still with this hoe? I've told you, niggas. If you had the folks around you that cared about you, you wouldn't be in a lot of these situations that y'all are in. But because as soon as a nigga reach any... Uh, he gets any closer, uh, just get, get a step closer and, and almost at his goal, of, of his his um, mental picture of what success is, niggas just push everyone who cares about them away because they no longer want to be criticized. Just like... The Instagram bitches. When the Instagram bitches get critiqued, they push niggas off because they know they have a million other niggas. And this is why these bitches on this goddamn Instagram sounding like this, looking like this, because she don't even know how fucking fake she sounds. Her mother is over there saying, hey, look, look, stop. Stop. We can tell that you're lying. They, they know that you're lying. Stop. Stop. You're making yourself look even more guilty. But she can't hear her. Because she's so used to everybody saying, yes, you go, girl. Y'all, even on the live, you can, you, like, you saw folks saying, like, no, nah, you good, you ain't got to explain yourself. When she really does need to explain herself, they're still placating to her. Dog, this shit is so fucking fake. And you can't, you can't be drawn into that shit, dog. Like, you have to, you cut people off because they tell you what real is. And... Now you have no real people around you. So now shit like this happens. Shit like the Uzi Vert shit happens. Because you don't want to take advice. And you put people around you who won't give you advice. They'll just be like, yep, show it, yep, yep, yep. Well, that shit funny. You was fucking with Uzi for, I heard, two years. Nobody around you said, hey, man, leave the nigga alone, dog. Like, just, just, just kill that shit, dog. Just kill it. Let's work on us. Because as soon as a nigga do tell you that, they know that you're going to cut them the fuck off. So niggas got, they got to choose between being real and being paid. And niggas going to take care of themselves first. Because if something happened to you, they got their money, they straight. They going to walk the fuck away like they did. You got slapped, dog. With all them niggas around. You at this bitch house by yourself, and if you knew what the fuck the world was... You would have the most spy around her. You should have pulled the Takashi 12. He has 24-hour uh, police escorts everywhere he goes. When he's fucking with hoes, when he goes to Chirac, when he goes to the bathroom. Because he knows that it's on him. Like, the shit is on him. Even from the inside. Like, motherfucking the trainway probably would, would have been hit him if he wasn't so tied in to the fucking police. You're a whole ass nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all know this. You have no, you have nothing to prove here. We know that you're a whole ass nigga. Folks are still fucking with your music. Have a 24-hour, like, fucking police escort. When you're around this bitch, like, the fuck is wrong with you, my nigga? Like, you think that this whole fuck with you? How do you think this hoe fuck with you, my nigga? Like, you know. Like, you was down and fucked up. You know that this hoe don't fuck with you. You know the people around you don't fuck with you. But you go around them with, with everything on, like it's just all love? No fire on you? And let me talk to the robbers. You robbing niggas. How the fuck do it take eight niggas to rob rich the fucking kid? It'll probably be two niggas on the bitch, which the wound on her fucking eye, like, it ain't no blood clots in the eye or nothing like that. I don't understand that shit neither. But you got two two niggas with that bitch, at least one nigga 
with the uh the fucking sister, and it had to be three niggas on Rich because he was fighting back. Why the fuck do it take that many niggas around Rich the fucking kid? That's another reason why you know, you know what I'm saying? That shit was like, you know what I'm saying? Some green ass niggas. Yeah. 